Well, coming up Friday night, we'll see the newest class of the Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame be inducted, and all week we'll be introducing you to this year's class. Tonight we focus on former Falcons linebacker Buddy Curry, who wasted no time making his presence known in town. They call me Mr. Consistent. Outside and inside linebacker, Buddy Curry, number 50. I was focused. Led the team in tackles for the fourth year in a row. I love to play. I love my teammates. And his leadership helped to overcome the injury loss of veteran Al Richardson. The Falcons picked Buddy Curry in the second round of the 1980 draft, and he immediately made an impact leading the team in tackles and earning Defensive Rookie of the Year honors. You know, I did not know that I would uh, be an impact player like I was. The Falcons, they had the same defense that we ran in college to a certain extent, and I just kind of fit, it fit me like a glove, and I came in and I just executed. Well, as a rookie, uh, I'm just surviving every day. We went on a nine-game win streak, and boy, I remember coming back, man, there would be four or 5,000 people there cheering you as you walked off the plane, and boy, this city was just the buzz. Curry set the Falcons record for tackles in a season in 1983 and credits the players around him and his coaching, which included defensive coordinator Jerry Glanville. You got two in a row. You get two ISTs for lunch. Back then you had a lot of characters. Glanville was one of the more colorful ones. You're tearing up our grass because you don't have hey. cleats on the side of your shoe. Your foot's like that. Use your damn cleats or on your toes, darling. He was very vocal and uh, had all these sayings that, uh, that you know, you made you laugh and, and encouraged you. But one thing he did, though, is he made you play hard. And I think uh, our defense played as hard or harder than any defense at that time. Curry's career with the Falcons ended in 1987 after eight years and twice being named an All-Pro. His legacy lives on in Atlanta with his Kids and Pros charity teaching character through football and through his children who've excelled on the volleyball court and on the gridiron. But when I watch my kids play, boy, it's just like me playing out there. And it's such a joy to watch them execute and then after the game, especially when they play good, they'll hunt their dad up and come and give him a big hug. He's a native of Virginia and a University of North Carolina graduate, but Curry loves his adopted home. I enjoy Atlanta. I love the city. I, I love uh, the fact that we share values. Atlanta is a great sports town, and for the opportunity to be uh, uh, admitted into Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame is really a great honor and a dream.